I mean, look at all the progress. This is a masterpiece. <laughs> but we need to kick it off right. Because we got something nobody else has. We have the Book of Knuckle. In a world of gears and pipes where industry reigns, Tube embarked on a journey where progress sustains. Crude oil's flow in the last episode did begin. Now the path ahead we must forge from within. Diesel, the liquid, a powerful source to make speed upgrades to keep our course. For the liquid compressors, they must evolve. To meet air pressure's demand, they must resolve. Blaze burners suggested to heat the controllers bright, but patience we must muster for the pack's next flight. Tube delayed no more. The time has arrived to navigate this challenge. We must be revived. Plastic, a treasure we need to store. For future endeavors, it holds the door. Heavy oil, light oil, kerosene, gasoline, a mix. We must decipher their purpose in this complex fix. With innovation as our guiding star, we'll transform these substances near and far. From the depths of the refinery, we'll glean the secrets of creation in this industrial dream. Tube's journey continues through trials untold. In the world of machinery where mysteries unfold, with ingenuity and grit, we'll find our way in the ever-evolving game that we play. Can I nail it? Nailed it. Welcome back to Create Arcane Engineering. That's an egg sandwich. You don't need to hear me eat that. But we ended off the last episode right here. We were making, making molten plastic. And if we look through the quest book, we need the plastic later on down the line to make these things. Plastic mechanisms, which are going to be used to make plastic machines. And this recipe requires molten plastic on a radiant mechanism, which we don't have yet. That's part of this whole chapter three adventure. But we need molten plastic poured over top of sturdy sheets to make plastic sheets. And then we need molten plastic poured over top of that. And then we stamp it, boom, we end up with these things and we can use these to make the next machine. And we're gonna need these to make parts, pieces, and other things moving forward. I'm not sure what all this makes yet. Okay, okay, a nullifier, that's going to come in handy because we're going to have liquids that we need to nullify or get rid of at some point in this process. Programmer. Okay, you get the gist, right? But here's the problem. Look at the top. See my pressure? It has dropped tremendously. So these liquid compressors are just not keeping up. And in order to help solve that issue, we need to take the diesel and turn that into lubricant. And then we can turn the lubricant into speed upgrades right here. I'm not sure if we could stack these in the compressors or not, but that's where we're going to start today. I think what I need to do is make a tank. We'll dump plastic into a big tank right here. And so we can keep this process going. I've been loading crude oil in through my fluid cells. And then we can hook up this guy, get this stuff kind of rocking. And real quick... P. Burns asked me why I say Machine, and Machine isn't from Cheech and Chong. It's an ode to the best laborer I ever had the opportunity to work with. His name was Leo. He was a Hispanic gentleman, and he said Machine, and he also called me Mr. Tube, which was kind of comical. For years, I worked with this man, and no matter what I asked him to do, he would say, okay, no problem, Mr. Tube. No problem, Mr. Tube. <laughs> Let's get started. First thing we got to do is get rid of this plastic. I'm going to store it in a fluid tank, a big one, and it's going to match the size of the oil one, and hopefully that's enough for storage, and we'll probably have to eliminate some of it later on down the line, too. Throw a gearbox in here. Where's my cargo coggers? There it is. Boom. We go like this, and then we take... I don't know that you need to filter this output, but I'm going to. We go like that. And then we put Pumpa on here. Boom. And then we take fluid pipes and go right into that guy. Yes? 
No problem. And now we need to add another cogwheel wheel here, but I don't want to do that yet because I'm not, not sure if it's going to pull LPG out of here or not. So I think we can grab a bucket of this. We can. We got molten plastic bucket. No loud noises happen. But we can put this in this filter slot of the smart fluid pipe. I think I just put an empty bucket in there. No, I used this. Okay, cool. Now let's take this and put it in here so we have it for later in case we need it at some point. But we can start pumping plastic out of here. And then we got to get to processing the diesel and turning that into lubricant so we can... Can I go here, please? Thank you. Plastic is now being poured into this guy, and that's going to fill up probably quick. <laughs> but hopefully we have enough time to make nullifiers. If not, we could use another solution to get rid of extra stuff along the way here, because we're going to get to that point pretty soon, I feel like, as long as this pressure can keep up. Now we got to turn this. How do we get lubricant? I don't want that. I just want lubricant lube this stuff right here how do we make this you do it in a thermo pneumatic processing plant with biodiesel we need to make biodiesel first yes how do you make biodiesel bioethanol and seed oil this doesn't seem right lubricant two recipes i'm a bot diesel redstone and diesel Make lubricant. Let me make thermo pneumatic processing plant. We'll set this up and then we can start making our speed upgrades. And I'm officially out of pressure to keep this thing hot enough right now. So we need to jump on this speed upgrade thing. I'm hoping that it helps. Now there's two other liquids in here, kerosene and gasoline, which I'm not sure that I'm even going to use at all. But just in case we need them, I'm going to dump them down into the basement here. And we have fluid tanks that'll store them and then we'll have to pump off of them and get rid of some of the stuff or whatever, right? So we need to set them up, start emptying them out, and then we can set up this whole pressurized deal to get the lubricant. Yes? Go like that. Boom. And then, ah. Boom. Flip these puppies. And they should start filling up those tanks down here. They are. They'll probably fill up in no time because they're kind of minuscule. Can I get back up here, please? That'd be great. Thank you. All right. Now, lubricant. Yes? Mechanical pipe. We need to go something like this. We're going to pump out the side. I didn't leave myself enough room here between my oil tank and all this operation. So that's kind of bot level, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter, right? We got to go like a dice. Boom. And then we're going to come down one. Ah. Is that going to be enough room? We should bring it out a little bit more. Something like that. There it is. Looks beautiful. Thermo pneumatic processing plant is going to go right here. We're going to do this deal so we can see if it actually does anything. I don't need to cover them up. We need to flip this dude. Boom. And then we need a coggers right here. And this should all be powered. No problem. Boom. We only want one there, though. Ah, thank you. Are you pumping? You're pumping. We got diesel in here. Now we need to do a vortex tube. Boom. We need to heat this guy, right? Red side in. And that should be it, right? We just got to hook up some pipes to here. Pipes that don't have any pressure. Right now, that is. But we got a secret up our sleeves for that. Don't you worry. You're going to go right ah, here. Oh, that kind of stinks, doesn't it? Ah. We're going to have a pipe in my floor. That's okay. We'll deal with it. And it's getting a little jammed up in here. I didn't want to do that. Thank you. I wanted to do this one. Thank you. And then we want to go like this. Boom. And now our loss of air pressure can be increased through one fail swoop. Yes? It's 
slowly climbing. I might need to do them all, but I need to sleep. Is this thing getting hot yet? Or are we making lubricant? No, you know why? Because I didn't do this. And one more on the topper. And now we should be making lubricant, right? 100 degrees. What's this have to be? Oh, I need redstone. Don't be a bot tube, remember? Thank you. Don't go on the belt. Thank you even more. <laughs> do we have a shoot? I have a shoot. Boom. We get rid of that top light. Where are you at? Right over here. Boom. You go there. And you go here. And you go here. Redstone goes in there. Are we making? We're making lubricant. Let's go. Really slacking on uh, air pressure, though. We need this lubricant quick. Like, real quick. Let me figure out how we need to use that. We could put it in a bucket. That would probably be the easiest way. And then the crafting table right here. And boom, we got sugar. We got lapis. We can make speed upgrades. Let's do that. Let me get a spell. Speed upgrades. I got plenty of sugar cane. Been growing it since day one over there by the cows and stuff. We're going to throw this all in this box for now. We're going to grab buckets of lubricant out of that processor. And I need to grab lapis. I think I have some left in here. I do. Just take it all. There it is. Can I fly? I can. I have a bucket on me. And we can make one of these deals. Let me throw all this in here. Speed upgrade. Where you at? Ah, speed. Up. This guy. Why is this so showing up for speed? <laughs> okay. Buckets. We got them. Boom. Now I just take this bucket. Don't feel like waiting. Nope. Didn't feel like waiting at all. And I also kind of future-proofed this lubricant deal. I don't have it active yet, but I added a smart fluid pipe, a pump that's not powered yet, and it goes down to this tank down here. We're going to store these liquids down here, and I think I left myself enough room so that when we get the nullifier later down the line, we can kind of uh, adjust the balance on them using the nullifier, and if we need to, we can use a piston or something now to kind of void out that liquid because I'm not sure if we'll get to the nullifier at any point in time soon. Now let's see if we can stack. I should have made more buckets. Let me do that real quick. And that's all we got time for. Six. Boy, I got another bucket. We can make seven. Can you stay there, please? Thank you. Boom. We got seven. How do these things work? We have eight compressors, though. Can you stack multiple in one? No, only one. No, you can. What do you do? Do you straight crank now? Leaving. I mean, seven in there seems to grow that number pretty quick. All right, I think our best bet for now is just leave these seven that we could make in this first liquid compressor. Time in a bottle, this deal. Kind of build up this pressure enough. Oh, it starts draining the lava quick, and it really doesn't know how to act. Maybe we go a little easier on the time in a bottle, but that's okay. I don't think it's going to blow up, hopefully. <laughs> because we need to keep making processing this stuff right here to refine oil. Is this thing getting hot enough? It's starting to get hot enough now. It's getting pressure back. Okay. That's a good thing. And then I can keep moving forward and making more of the lubricant from the diesel. But what I'm going to run into is an issue with this light oil and heavy oil soon enough once this stuff starts processing again. And it's waiting on the refined oil, which is waiting on that. It's a big rabbit hole here. And it's only going to go deeper. But that is all the time we have for today. Make a speed upgrades. Maybe not the most interesting part of this gameplay, but I think it's important to share each step along the way because there's newcomers to this pack and making episodes like this I think is helpful to make them, if Tube can do it, <laughs> anybody can. Am I right? Thank you for watching. Have fun and peace.